Just because you've never seen it, doesn't mean it isn't there. Welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Elder Scrolls quests you never found. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most obscure, widely forgotten, or difficult to find quests and secret bosses in the history of the Elder Scrolls series. Be it a relatively straightforward fetch quest with a twist, or a leap into a realm quite unlike any other, these mini-adventures prove creative and endearing even as many players simply pass them by. Leave an offering of the pelt of a bear or the pelt of a wolf at the shrine, and her scene may find you worthy. Number 10, The Ebony Warrior, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. The time has come. I have done all that can be done. There is nothing left. Anyone who's managed the incredible feat of getting their character to level 80 may find themselves confronted by an odd fellow in intimidating looking armor. This man called the Ebony Warrior claims to have faced every other challenge in the realm, yet feels unfulfilled. Thus, the warrior has sought the most powerful foe still standing in Skyrim, that being you, with whom he can have a duel to the death. Except for you. You are my last challenge. Only you can send me to Sovngarde with honor. Befitting someone only encountered at the higher levels, the warrior is well armored and has access to some of the game's most dangerous spells. To best him in combat is a massive undertaking, yet it's a damn satisfying prospect. At last, Sovngarde. <laughs> Number 9, Volterol. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. While venturing through the underground city of Blackreach, it's hard to miss the giant glowing orb hovering above some of the prominent halls. What may not be readily apparent though, is that this orb is the key to summoning the hidden boss known as Voltharol. Using the unrelenting force shout on the orb summons the ancient dragon from the cavern depths, kicking off a fairly tense fight. Vulfriel's command of fire and frost breath, coupled with his natural resistance to damage, makes for a worthwhile challenge to those testing their abilities as dragonborn. Number 8, Enviof's Nord Burial. The Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind. Fancy role-playing games sure do love their casual encounters at taverns and inns, leading to grand and terrifying adventures. Yet it's likely that any players that did think to check the Lizard's Head in for questing opportunities didn't quite know what they were getting into with Enviof. This aging Nord Traveler, dying of an addiction, passes on his knowledge and the means of accessing an ancient warrior's tomb, providing you indulge his vice. What Endyoff neglects to mention are the undead guards and massive stone maze that need to be overcome in order to reach the tomb after having traversed another tomb. <laughs> It pays off nicely though, with an enchanted battle axe and other enticing loot resting among the dead. Number 7, Mage's Guild Reinstatement, The Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion. Hello there, I hear you've been looking for me. Sometimes the punishment fits the crime, other times things just get weird. The manner in which the Mage's Guild of Cyrodiil handles troublemakers beyond simply expelling them seems to fall into the latter category. To wit, any player who attacks or steals from a fellow guild member is suspended, but can seek reinstatement if they go on a lengthy fetch quest. Have you returned with the materials you were sent to collect? Players guilty of assault or murder must find 20 vampire dusts and daedra hearts, while thieving individuals have to retrieve 20 dragon tongues and red wart flowers. Further, this quest can only be undertaken twice. Try your luck a third time, and there's no seeking forgiveness from the guild. Please don't be mad. We were just having some fun. Number 6 Conjuration Ritual Spell 
The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. One would imagine that, since mastering any kind of magic is such a difficult endeavour, there would be no more hills to climb after reaching that point. However, Skyrim has one more trick up its sleeve for folks who push their conjuration ability to level 90. The chance to learn even more powerful spells. This requires obtaining a Sigil Stone, which means summoning and beating an unbound Remora into submission to get them to find the stone. Yes, my mistress. Summon me again, and I shall have your stone. Unsettling though the prospect of forcefully dominating a being from another realm may seem, there's certainly a kind of grim satisfaction in wielding that virtual power. Plus, hey, more excuses to meddle with the laws of reality. Your sigil stone, Lord Dagon, is less than pleased at its loss. Number 5. A Brush with Death Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion Where did you come from? You look real enough. You must be from the outside. Oh, thank goodness someone finally came. Players who knew to keep an ear out for rumors had the possibility of stumbling upon a missing person case in Shadenhall. As it happens, the wife of a famous painter is concerned about her husband's disappearance, seeking someone to investigate the matter further. I'm sorry to be so forward, but I desperately need your help. It seems that my husband, Wrythe, has gone missing, and I just don't know what to do. The player is prompted to check the painter's study, where an especially distinctive painting stands, and draws them into a magical realm when examined closer. What once seemed like a rescue mission shifts into a fun romp through the painted world, battling trolls on the way to retrieving the painter's enchanted paintbrush from a dastardly thief. Wraith, oh my love, you're home safe. I was so afraid. If it wasn't for my friend here, you'd be right. Number 4, The Silent Pilgrimage. The Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind. Among the various tasks that can be undertaken for the Tribunal Temple, there is one that demands great discipline and careful planning. Talking to Edrin Lethen, the player can undertake a voyage to activate a Shrine of Note in order to further endear themselves to the temple. There's a catch though, you cannot talk to anyone during the quest, meaning fast travel is not an option. Embarking on this excursion takes players from the far south to the far north of the land of Vardenfell, making for a good opportunity to take in the sights. And it's useful for testing out unconventional means of traversing the realm. Number 3, Thelus's Pillow. The Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind. Unmarked and without any journal entries to note its presence, this is nonetheless an enjoyably offbeat aside for an otherwise grand fantasy adventure. Up in the north of Vardenfell, a shipwrecked vessel lays on the shores for wandering travelers to plunder. A closer look through the wreckage reveals, among other things, a shipping manifest for 40 pillows that were intended for Drarain Thelus. Thelus's not so subtle fixation on pillows is amusing to consider, especially given how it crops up in other conversations. That the reward for informing Thalus about his lost shipment is a nice pillow just adds to the charming weirdness of the entire quest. Number 2 Here's Scene The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Perhaps I should ask you, mortal, sent you to hunt for my amusement. Happen to have the pelt of a bear or wolf on hand while passing the shrine of the Daedric Prince Hyrosine, then you might do well to offer said pelt in Hyrosine's offer, prompting a conversation with the hunting fixated deity. Hyrosine desires the horn of a unicorn as tribute, which can be found in Harkane Grove. <laughs> Ah! 
complicating the matter, the unicorn is impervious to most weapons and is guarded by a trio of minotaurs. Should a person manage to slay the rare beast, they're rewarded with one of the finest light armors in the game, the Savior's Hide. Best of luck in the hunt, folks. Yes, Hunter, make your offering. Did you taste its flesh and drink its blood? Number 1, Karstag. The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. An intense boss battle and a nifty callback, all wrapped up in one easy to miss quest. Not all players of The Elder Scrolls V may immediately know the origins of the frost giant Karstag when finding his skull in a cave on Stolstheim. Yet those who recall the beast from his last appearance in the Blood Moon expansion for The Elder Scrolls III might well feel dread when setting forth to summon Karstag's ghost. Sure enough, Karstag opts to put up a fight once reawakened in the ruins of his old castle. Dealing with his widespread resistance to damage and finally putting him to rest makes for quite the satisfying resolution, even if it proves challenging to actually carry out. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.